some days my wisdom just holds no bounds whatsoever. <laughs> or not. <laughs> so this morning uh, I was slightly concerned about uh, one of our little Austral chicks because it's very small uh, in comparison to the others and I thought probably it's not getting enough to eat so my wisdom I thought I could put it in with the turkeys and uh, they're on chick crumb and it will get plenty of chance uh, to eat food without the older birds pushing it away. Smart move, sort of. So I sectioned off uh, the back end of Big White's field where we've got the turkey house and run uh, with the little chick in it and I opened the door of the run uh, so that the chick could go in and get some food and, and sure enough it went in and got some food. Hooray! And then the turkeys came out. <laughs> but that's okay, they're, they're enclosed in this end of the field except I've used poultry netting, it's not electrified and they just squeezed through the holes. So what I have now uh, is the turkey house behind me uh, with its run sectioned off and the turkeys uh, are down that end of the field chatting to Big White and his girls and having a thoroughly nice time exploring the rest of the field. and all the adult chickens are behaving. So that's wonderful and, and that's not a problem. Goodness knows what's going to happen at bedtime. Uh, I'm really not looking forward to that. But, but you never know, they may well make their way back there by the end of the day. Come on then you dafties. Let's get you back down your end of the field. There we go. Yes. Come on then. Come on then. You think you can find your way back? Are you putting that's not the way back? <laughs> they actually need to make it. Uh, <laughs> it's over there. I've propped the netting up on the watering can over there uh, for them to be able to get in and out. They're not doing very well at it at the moment. Come on, there, little turkeys. Come on. Come on, then, turkeys. Off you go. There we go. Think you can find your way? Are you smart enough to do that? Yes, that's one. One is under. In you go. There you go. That's two. Come on, Judy. Come on. Oh, you're so not smart. That's three. Come on then. There you go. This is like, it's like herding woodlice. <laughs> right then you two. What the chances of you being smart and being able to pop under that? Oh yes, excellent. Just one to go. One to go. There you go. He's a good fella. There you go. Hooray.
been very frustrating uh, not being able to do a uh, lot of things I want to do uh, because my back is misbehaving. When I have done a, a few bits and pieces, uh, then my back starts hurting again. And I think this is going to be a long, uh, a long, slow recovery. So it's self-inflicted, so I can't really feel sorry for myself. Um, but I do feel frustrated uh, with myself for, for uh, having pushed myself too hard. Um, feeling fine at the time, <laughs> but really, back of my mind, I knew I'd done too much. I guess that's just the way it goes, uh, and we live and learn, <laughs> and hopefully I will have learned from this. <laughs> So again, uh, there are no big projects going on at the moment. I'm being really sensible <laughs> and not uh, taking on huge uh, shifting of wood chips or digging out ponds or anything like that. I am taking things uh, as carefully as I can. What I have done though uh, is spend a bit of time um, continuing with the patchwork quilt that I started in the spring. Uh, so here's where I've got to with it yesterday. Unfortunately, because the light is so bright today, it's washing out a lot of the colours. But I've made this uh, this four foot by three foot uh, patchwork. It's pieced together from uh, vintage fabrics, uh, which I've been collecting for the last 40 years. I'm really pleased with it. So far, uh, it's just put onto uh, a piece of plain cotton fabric and I've lightly quilted it uh, and then very shortly, uh, I'm going to put the padding in it, uh, put a trim around the edge and put the back on it. I'm really pleased with how it's looking. The viewer that I'm making it for, uh, she's really happy with it. So, and while I'm here, uh, and I'm sitting here because I wanted to show you this fabulous phlox. Isn't it lovely? And it smells wonderful. <laughs> I like flocks, uh, they seem to me to be part of a traditional cottage garden. Nice. Well that's it for me today. Uh, I'm dog sitting for my daughter, uh, so I'm going to take her little dog out for a walk. And so, wherever you are in the world. Hello Monty. Perhaps I'm not taking him out for a walk. Hello darling. Hello boy. Did you want to come and say hello? Come on then. Oh, a camel! Here he is. He's such a nice chap. And so, wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one. And I also hope you'll join me again tomorrow.